Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming. Today, we're going to be talking about a perfect client. Does a perfect client exist? It does. I actually have a lot of perfect clients, but the client that's coming in today is very special because Lily Rose is a Labradoodle and she is a perfect client. Now, what do I mean by a perfect client? It is a client that comes in on a regularly enough basis right, for the haircut that they are searching for, right? So the frequency of their visits matches a reasonable haircut for a dog that is coated like a doodle. A perfect client also constitutes an owner that takes some participation efforts in between grooming visits. Uh, so it's very important to focus on things that can accumulate in between grooming visits. Okay, so we have our eye boogies, right, that uh, accumulate in between grooming visits. We might have fecal matter. This is because when we're talking about dogs that need haircuts, like doodles, um, that hair can grow and can catch things, and that can accumulate and cause pain during their grooming session. So the whole point of being a perfect client, of course, this is great for the groomer. It makes our life easier, but it's more important to understand that this makes the grooming experience for the dogs perfect. So when Lily Rose comes to see me, I've been grooming her since a puppy. There is no stress. I have never pulled on a tangle ever in her life. Um, so when she comes in, she is bouncy. She is happy. Now, she doesn't like everything about grooming. She doesn't like her face dried. Uh, and we accept that. No problem. I work with a stand dryer and I go really slow. But overall, because the owner of Lily Rose has been really meticulous and opening to listening to proper grooming uh, uh, procedures and the proper duration and the proper frequency of visits, this has made grooming an amazing experience for Lily Rose. So when Lily Rose gets here, I'm going to go through some of the things that really make an impact as a groomer to make sure that the pet does not have a bad experience. Good girl, Lily Rose. Oh, good girl. Good girl. All right, guys, this is Lily Rose. You guys have seen her in um, some episodes. We did uh, the Velvet Doodle with Lily Rose. We did a tail trim with Lily Rose. There are a few things I want to talk about which make Lily Rose a perfect client. Now, remembering that she is a doodle, so she needs to get her hair cut. We keep her in a fantastic length. I'll go through the length, but let's first start talking about the frequency of her visits. Lily Rose comes to see me every three to four weeks like clockwork and has been doing so since she's been a puppy. She's a little over two years, if I remember correctly now, maybe even a little bit more than that. So she has been coming every three to four weeks to get a haircut or some trims in between. So let's talk about the length. Now that we know the frequency is every three to four weeks, what is the proper length to make sure that a doodle gets a wonderful, wonderful grooming experience? So for Lily, depending on the time of the year, we keep her in either a half inch to an inch length all over. And in the winter, we rotate between haircuts and just trims. And then let me finish also with accumulation, which is that she has nothing by her eyes. So her owner takes really good care of Lily and makes sure that her eyes are really nice and clean. And she also makes sure that anything can't accumulate in the back end. Everything is nice and clean. So when she comes to the groomer, when she comes to see me, I'm not yanking on anything. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give Lily Rose her groom. I really wanted to take a moment to share with you guys what a perfect client looks like. That owning a doodle, you can have a perfect grooming schedule to make sure that your doodle is uh, having a very, very happy grooming experience. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing if you haven't done so already. We will see you soon. Say bye, Lily.